Hey guys, welcome to another what I eat video. If you haven't already, please be sure to click that subscribe button and like this video if you haven't already. Um, and then, so today, this week, I had blueberry muffins. We went blueberry picking, um, but before that, we just used eight leftovers, made some fried rice. I made garlic fried rice, and Ryan added his veggies and eggs to it, so contaminated my shit. And then um, just warmed up the curry and threw that all together. And then I made him go for a bike ride around Brotherhood Trail, which is relaxing. It's literally only a 15 minute bike ride. And then after that, that's where I made him go blueberry picking with me so we can make these lemon blueberry muffins. I'll link that down below for you guys. And we had a simple dinner. A friend of ours caught some wild salmon. So Ryan threw that in the oven and that's what we had for dinner. And if you don't know this already, I do on occasions eat fish, only if it's fresh. I don't support those big commercial companies and things like that. And we went to Ryan's dad house, dad's house and had pho the next day for dinner. And Tuesday, we decided to make tacos. So all I did right here, I took my marinated tofu the way I always do. I use just adobo seasonings, or the way to marinate adobo. Threw that in, crumbled it, threw it in the oven um, at 300 degrees, 325 degrees, and for like 30 minutes or so. And then cut up my veggies. Ryan wanted to make a slaw with this, and I already made it all pretty, so this is what we have. decided to do a little bit healthier so I made um, I just got iceberg lettuce and ate my tacos in that um, I don't know I just like it because it's fresher and Ryan made cod or deep beer battered cod so this is what we had for dinner is really delicious so if you're ever wanting wondering what to do for tacos literally it's just easy you could crumble up some tofu throw it in the oven if you don't want to fry it or anything still make easy tacos that way. And then what is your guys' favorite way to eat tacos? Like, I love tacos. I just love wraps. Anything wrapped up, I love them. Let me know down in the comments below. Wednesday, had some more chocolate. So this is what I'm going to have for a late, very, very late lunch before dinner. Um, and it's just this flat bread right here. It's called Flat Out. It's 90 calories per slice and they're pretty big. So I'm getting that and then some mushrooms. These are all leftover veggies. Mushrooms, yellow pepper, um, some purple cabbage and lettuce. And I am grilling up some... I'm grilling up some kidney beans and I'm gonna use put some soy sauce and things like that in there. For dinner, we're having um, Alfredo with salmon. And the recipe I'm using as a guideline is hot for food. This wasn't in hot for food, and then she used vegetable stock. I'm using mushroom stock in here. Um, and we're all just gonna combine this in a blender. One pro tip if you guys are making this recipe, Seriously, put like 90% of your garlic and onions in the recipe and blend it up. It makes it so much better because it just, I don't know, the sauce is infused better. And if you guys do try this recipe, let me know because it is delicious. Like, this is the best Alfredo I've ever had. And I've, I'll link that down below for you guys so you don't have to look anywhere because I'm nice like that. And look how pretty I put.
I just made leftovers. It is really good. If you guys don't know this already, if you haven't tried it already and you make this stuff, literally you could eat it cold. It tastes like, I don't know, like, I don't know, it's good cold. You don't have to even warm it up. I wanted to show you guys my garden. Well, not really a garden because there's not much in it, but there's celery. You could see it right there, the stalks. My lettuce, look at them grow, it's so beautiful. And then my bok choy. So you can see, I literally just planted this yesterday and look at it, it's already growing. So all of that in um, my little garden so far um, have been from things that I got from the store and I've just been replanting. So I have, I'm starting to have lots of lettuce. I have one thing of celery and then bok choy. Now I know you can grow bok choy. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Still have some leftover cake from my mom's birthday. So I threw that in the fridge, uh, in the freezer and I've been eating that slowly. I found this big ass eagle, baby eagle when I was walking and then all these fish. The tide at work was freaking high, so I was like, this is beautiful. Look at those mountains. This is Juno, guys. And Super Bear had a fill it fresh. They do this like once a year, and you fill up a paper bag for worth of $20. And I got like 32 items, and that's if you don't count them individually. The processed fruits. I'm not with him at all. We had a potluck after, and I ate a lot of shit. But, you know, it was good. It was delicious. I always jazz up my, um, what's it called? Hot dogs like this. Anybody else? Look at it, I lose some weight. Did you guys know pickles are zero calories? Like, I'm gonna be stocking up on pickles since I already love them. And this is one of the pineapples I got from the Philip Fresh. We went to Mexico um, last year, a couple years back. And we had these mangoes with tahine and um, lime on it. It was so good. And so we bought that stuff. And if you don't know how to say tahine, it's T A G I E J I N. I used to say it's tahine. It's tahine. My sister told me that. And then we made um, these shitty onion rings. I was trying to be healthy, so I baked them. I found this recipe. It looked easy. Um, Next time I'm gonna use like a tempera batter or something like that and bake them up. But I mean they're decent for the first time. And I did need to add salt. So I'll, if you want to look at that recipe or just have it as a guideline and know what not to use, I'll put it down below. Again, if you haven't already, please subscribe and like this video and we'll see you guys next time.